In the next part of this presentation, we will look at key parts of the brain that support our ability to learn and use language. Researchers have yet to completely agree on which parts of the brain support our ability to, to use and understand language. However, one part of the brain that all researchers agree on that plays a role in language is the left inferior frontal gyrus, which you can now see. The left inferior frontal gyrus is located in the left prefrontal cortex. This is one of the first regions identified to be involved in language. The discovery was made in the mid-1900s by a French physician by the name of Pierre Paul Broca. Pierre came across a patient who lost the ability to speak. In fact, the patient could only say one word, which was tan. In addition, the patient lacked fluency in his speech. The patient's name was Louis Victor Leborn, but is often referred to in textbooks as tan. After the patient died, an autopsy was undertaken and the brain was examined, which you can now see. The picture of the brain you can see is of the left hemisphere. Hopefully you can see massive damage to an area of the left side. The part of the brain where most of the damage is, is now known as Broca's area, and this is in the left inferior frontal gyrus. To give you a better idea of what happens when this part of the brain is damaged, I will show you a, a video of a person who, have, who has damage to Broca's area. What did you notice about the man's speech? The first thing is the lack of fluency. That is, when he speaks, his words are staggered. This is a common problem found in people who have damage to Broca's area and the left inferior frontal gyrus. Indeed, an important discovery by Paul Broca was that a region in the left inferior frontal gyrus was responsible for speech production. However, this is not all that area does. If you listen very carefully, there is another problem with the man's speech. The man's speech is characterised mainly by the use of content words. That is, when he speaks, he doesn't stagger his way through a sentence. For example, he doesn't stagger his way through a sentence like, I went to the store yesterday. Rather, he says sentences like, went, store, yesterday. These types of problems have led to the proposal that Broca's area and the left inferior frontal gyrus plays a role in processing grammar for both speech production and also for understanding speech. One idea is that this part of the brain puts together individual words to, to create a sentence using syntax. So people with damage to Broca's area often have problems in two areas. The first is being able to produce a sentence fluently. The second is able to being able to use grammar or syntax to produce and understand language. So people with damage to Broca's area have difficulty understanding and producing language. Another part of the brain that is important for language comprehension is a region of the left temporal lobe, which is now known as Wernicke's area. The image on the screen now shows where Wernicke's area is in relation to Broca's area. The role of this area of the brain in language was discovered by a German physician by the name of Carl Wernicke. Carl Wernicke came across a patient who had difficulty understanding language. The following video shows someone with damage to Wernicke's area. The person in the video has difficulty understanding the meaning of language. Specifically, the individual has difficulty understanding individual words and also difficulty understanding sentences. This is because a sentence is made up by individual words. Unlike damage to Broca's area, people who have damage to Wernicke's area are fluent in their speech. Also, unlike people with damage to Broca's area, people with damage to Wernicke's area can produce many words and speak using grammatically, grammatically correct sentences. However, what they say often doesn't make sense. For example, people with damage to Wernicke's area don't realise they are producing the wrong words. The reason for this is that they don't understand what they are saying themselves. The problem here is just accessing the meaning of individual words. Many other parts of the brain are involved in language, but at least two areas that play an important role are Broca's area and Wernicke's area. We can think of Broca's area as playing a role in syntax and Wernicke's area in playing a role in processing meaning.